everybody, welcome back. We are on episode 70. We are in the Denver ruins. We're outside the vault door that leads to the God President Regan. We're working on Regan Reborn. which is associated with the Zealot. We also picked up counterintelligence and let's go fry a kite. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Incoming. Welcome to the Western White House. God President Reagan is expecting Please come in. Thank you. What is this? Those are the Desert Rangers! They work for my father! You know, on the next playthrough, I'm gonna have to try to figure a way out to not be famous just to see what the dialogue lines are when no one knows you you promised to keep me safe calm down valor god president reagan has everything under control <laughs> well now welcome patriots N N nancy and i well we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Now then, help yourself to some jibes and let's get down to business, shall we? As you as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run run rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this. The last best hope of man, 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 man on earth, or we'll sentence them to. <laughs> if it takes a blood, 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 let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Di diplomacy, of course, is a subtle and new, 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 nuanced craft. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -co it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. <laughs> A lot of people in the U.S. need to understand that. Works living. <laughs> They're like choosy cannibals, right? They only eat the rich. Exactly. That's what they are. Um, asking only for purposes of our education, ma'am and sir. We don't mean to upset anyone. I'll be happy to explain, Rangers. Communism is a foul philosophy that tricks people into giving up their individuality and submitting to the will of the state, which commands them to work for free and relentlessly attack those who don't subscribe to their ideology. It is an evil beyond reckoning. I think that most people in this country would say yes, they are better off than they were four years ago. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. That's enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, mom, mom, mommy. Well, I, I'm, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night-night. 
Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But <laughs> yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it. And bring it here to us. So, uh, Valor seems to be on a short leash. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on Valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. <laughs> or you'll just transfer Reagan to Valor. Huh. Very well, but I warn you, I have a very limited supply of patience. There are a lot of issues with the current hardware. The read-write heads alone are... They don't need such technical details, Valor. Suffice to say, though the vessel containing the God President was meant to be everlasting, that has proven false, and a new vessel is required. Ronnie has announced his preference for the vessel to be human. The preparations have kept us busy enough. Your assistance is a convenience that we are willing to pay for. Nothing more. It's gonna be an amazing weapon. Have you seen the lasers on Reagan's statue? Like that, only handheld. Awesome! I'm working on it with Sister Nancy Forge. Uh, well, I gave her the idea, anyway. Yes, Valor. As you say, an awesome weapon. And you shall have it, Rangers. Once Ronnie is human again, of course. They call themselves a commune and say they are working for the betterment of all sentient beings. It's a lie. They put on a friendly face so they can turn humans against each other. Mark my words. They'll try to trick you, too. But their end draws near. Once we have what we need from them, they will be dealt with like the dirty communists they are. Now, I serve at the pleasure of a god, Rangers. And I don't have time for this non-committal dithering. Are you going to help us or not? Whether you recover the module is up to you. If you do, bring it to us, and we will deal with you fairly. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America proud, Rangers. So there, there were a couple of dialogue options you could have selected, but she only allows you to select so many before she gets tired of it, so... Let's save that. Reagan AI. You don't appear to have the module. Why have you returned?
Ah. Bring us the cybernetic transfer module. Then we'll restore the flow of oil to Colorado Springs and release our claim on Valor Buchanan. Is any part of that unclear? Our young Mr. Buchanan is handling the technical side of things. Valor, dearest, could you please explain the details of the module for our guests? I don't have time for this, but if you insist. The module was built to create a direct connection between a human brain and a machine intelligence. It was scrapped after it overwrote a researcher's brain, <laughs> allegedly. I'm inclined to believe that was human error, or a weak-minded subject. The design specifications are incomplete, but I know enough to fill in the gaps. Clearly, the device is meant to transfer information to a human mind, not overwrite it. So this perception check really leads you to believe that Mother Nancy Reliance is already thinking about transferring Reagan over to Valor's mind. Thank you, Valor. That was an excellent summation. This transfer capability is precisely what we need to move the God President into a human body. You are referring to God President Reagan's Ticks? Yes, well, my dear Ronnie is just as sane as he ever was. It is the machine that contains him that is failing. These outbursts are caused by faulty wiring and aging hardware. We are reviewing the health and fitness of numerous candidates. Got a feeling if I ask that question, it's going to be a negative hit. Simulation! Oh, the God President is the real and actual Ronald Wilson Reagan in digital form. Downloaded into this sacred vessel before his worldly shell failed him. He is, in a very real sense, the last true American. The only man left who lived before the deluge of fire and who knows the secrets of the old world. And through his leadership and wisdom, he will return us to that old world. He will heal this broken land and make it once more a patriot's paradise. The shining city on the hill. I told you, Ronnie is not a simulation. He is an adaptive intelligence. His memories are stored magnetically and transferred in and out of storage by read-write heads. Those, in turn, deliver data to and from his processing units. Sadly, the components have degraded over time, and occasional tiny errors have crept in. We've had to work around them. Thank you. You're more insightful than most of the outsiders I've met. A pleasant surprise. Maintaining the God President's hardware and software requires talent and training. It is a difficult job, but rewarding. Our duty is a holy one. But despite our expertise, we can't change the fact that Ronnie is housed in pre-war machines, and repairing them grows more difficult every year. That is why we're finding him a more natural vessel where his divinity can flourish unbound. Yes? Sister Glory means well, 
but we can handle a few scattered plane savages. You stay focused on getting the module and resolving our deal. Outsiders always do. Ask away. In the days after the godless communists rained fire and death from sea to shining sea, the god president awoke in the ruins of the city on the hill and mourned the loss of the world he'd built and the loss of his wife. So mighty was his grief, so heartbreaking his suffering, that it was heard across the gray and burning world. Men raged with him at the dying of the light, and women wept at his loneliness. But one woman did more. She healed his wounds and gave him solace. In gratitude, the God President named her Nancy, the first Nancy. Then he led her to this building, dubbed it the Western White House, and decreed that it would be the heart of America reborn. We are his wives, and we all hold positions of great responsibility in his government. It is the highest honor in the land. Some of us are warriors, like Sister Nancy Glory, standing strong against the barbarian hordes. Others are scientists and technicians. Sister Nancy Forge, for instance, built many of our weapons and defensive systems. All of us serve Reagan to the best of our abilities and work to prepare the next generation of wives to serve him likewise when we die. It is our sacred duty. The sisters protect the God President's people and enforce his laws. I protect the God President himself, and I interpret his wisdom. This has been the honor and the duty of every Mother Nancy since the first. We brief the God President on state and business issues, disputes between citizens, and once he speaks on them, we put the intent of his words into action. You mean that I could interpret Ronnie's words in any way I wished? That he is just a figurehead, and I am making all the decisions? Ridiculous! For one who has been at his side for half a century, the God President's intent is always perfectly clear. I am only his wife. I have no power but that which passes from him through me, and no ambition but to serve him well. Wyman is the name used for a former Nancy who has schemed against the God President, one who has spurned his great gifts and fallen from grace. Fortunately, there have been few Wymans over the years. That particular Wyman claimed I was misinterpreting the God President's pronouncements for my own benefit. Nothing but jealousy. Were it up to me, she would have been cast out entirely. Lucky for her, my Ronnie is a merciful god. He merely divorced her, thus making her a Wyman. She is permitted to remain on the premises because of her medical skills. But holy ground like the sacred server room is forever forbidden to her. He is a brilliant computer technician who feels as strongly as we do that the god president must have a new vessel. Without him and his knowledge, the transfer would be impossible. Ha! <laughs> oh, Dad's gonna shit his pants when he meets the new Reagan face to face. It's gonna be awesome. You don't appear to have the module. Why have you returned?
talking limousine? Oh, absurd. Sounds like a ploy by those commie computers to abduct my beloved Ronnie. I hope you destroyed the abomination. Good. A fitting end. Yeah. Now, was there anything else before you return to the task of acquiring the module? I figured that would be a plus. Foolishness. I don't know who put that game on Ronnie's console, but it is an utter waste of time. Anything better to do, Rangers? <laughs> ah, don't hit the key so hard. You'll break the keyboard. I didn't even see what killed you there. The Russians nuked you first. Bad luck, Rangers. <laughs> oh, a mutiny, huh? That's a shame. You have to keep your crew paid, Rangers. Good flying, Rangers. Shame about that <laughs> missile. First, they're faster. Those alien spaceships move too fast. They're a damnable nuisance. How many dialogues do they have this thing? <laughs> okay. Good job, Rangers. <laughs> Did 
That's gotta be the end, right? Okay. <laughs> so, you can win. I wonder if she has anything to say about it. You don't appear to have the module. Why have you returned? <laughs> All right. Open this gate. Tear down this wall. It's time for us to realize that we're too great a nation to limit ourselves to small dreams. As government expands, liberty contracts. The provost had something similar to say that about that in Latin. Well, it's very easy to disguise a medical program as a humanitarian project. Sound familiar? COVID-19. Has there ever been a time when so many of the prophecies are coming together? Are you better off, well, than you were four years ago? That's a good question. The answer is no, you're not. Some people may still ask, would the Soviets ever use their formidable military power? Well, again, can we afford to believe they won't? Can we afford it? That's an actual question now, isn't it? Can we afford it? The answer is no, we can't. Some people may still ask, would the Soviets ever use their formidable military power? Well, again, can we afford to believe they won't? We did not, repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages, nor will we. I did not have sexual relations with that girl. You and I are told we must choose, well, between the left and the right. But I suggest there is no such thing as a left or a right. There is only an up or down. Yep, that's more apt. We must act today in order to preserve tomorrow. Well, we need to act a long time ago. We need to make a start toward restoring the American dream that each individual has the right to fly as high as his strength and ability will take him. Sounds like a libertarian point of view. In this springtime of hope, some lights seem eternal. America's is. Today we have done what we had to do. If necessary, we shall do it again. I cannot and will not stand by and see this great country destroy itself. My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you that today I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin bombing in five minutes. Hey, that's really familiar, isn't it? Gee, who knew? I cannot and will not stand by and see this great country destroy itself. We did not, repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages, nor will we. Says Oliver North. You and I are told we must choose, well, between the left and the right. But I suggest there is no such thing as a left or a right. There is only an up or down. Are you better off, well, than you were four years ago? If it wasn't for women, well, us men would still be walking around in skin suits carrying clubs. A tree's a tree. How many more do you need to look at? If we lose freedom here, well, there is no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. You can go to Canada. An afflicted mankind looks to us to uphold the principles of self-reliance, self-discipline, and morality. So we will become that shining city on a hill. How many more conversation points does this thing have? An afflicted mankind looks to us to uphold the principles of self-reliance, self-discipline, and morality. 
so we will become that shining city on a hill. Are you better off, well, than you were four years ago? There you go again. <laughs> we must act today in order to preserve tomorrow. Above all, we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you that today I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin bombing in five minutes. America has kept alight the torch of freedom, not just for ourselves, but for millions of others around the world. Through that golden door, well, our children can walk tomorrow with the knowledge that no one can be denied the promise that is America. Well, it's very easy to disguise a medical program as a humanitarian project. My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you that today I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin bombing in five minutes. Through that golden door, well, our children can walk tomorrow with the knowledge that no one can be denied the promise that is America. All right, I think that's it, hopefully. Container. Are they going to be mad if I get that container? Nope. People do rather get the wrong idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back, and they are wrong. They accuse us of seeing communists in every shadow, and, well, they are right. But so are we. Make no mistake, dears. We are surrounded by the vestiges of the evil empire. They have turned our great nation into an irradiated graveyard, and they expect us to weep. But we are steel, sisters. We do not bend, nor do we rust. We endure. So let them laugh at us. We are the wives of a god president, and we will endure until he returns to us. Until then, his great work lies before us, unfinished. We will arm our sons and our daughters and teach them to hunt communists and snake-tongued socialists. From birth, we will turn our children's hearts to unyielding stone. With our blessing, they will bring peace back to the world, one bullet at a time. We do this in the Gipper's name. Amen. All right, the patriarch's son, one of the... So, you're the Rangers. I hear you've been showing the marshals how it's done. Keep it up and maybe Daddy will make you his chief bootlickers. Well, you can go back and tell Saul I'm staying here. The Gippers are my family now. My father sent me here as punishment for being smarter than him. <laughs> Stupidest thing he ever did. <laughs> Damn right I am. The Gippers understand my worth. They're not blind like my father. I'm the foremost tech and computer expert in the world. You name it, I've taken it apart, put it back together, and made it better. As modest as he ever was. He's always been like this. A boaster and a braggart. Just a 
tiny investment in hardware, and I could have given my father access to all the Hundred Family's records and secrets. No, but he wasn't going to shell out for any tech unless it could kill someone. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> He's blind. All drive and no vision. Liberty attacked Colorado Springs, and the city alarms didn't go off. So he blamed me. He said I fucked up. I didn't fuck up. Those alarms were sabotaged. My sister! She stole the codes from my room before she left! It was her fault, not mine! The Patriarch's my enemy, but at least he's strong. An oak. How did he give birth to this... spinach? <laughs> idiots! <laughs> they're all idiots! They think they're the center of civilization! No, oh, not without oil, they're not. <laughs> Let's see how civilized they are a few months from now. You finished the calculation? How? I mean, that's great! Uh, good. Uh, this'll really speed things up. Um, I guess I should thank you. Here. Ramen noodles? Well, that's an understatement. The infrastructure around here is fine for pumping oil and powering the defense systems, but we're trying to usher in the next era in human-to-god interfaces. It's pushing this building systems to the limit. If I could just squeeze out some extra power, we could supercharge Reagan's statue and still have enough juice for the transfer process. The upgrades don't require a genius like me. Even you could do it. If you want to make some extra money, I'll pay you to handle them. And there are also some system parts which would become redundant. You can have those, too. Three terminals manage our key systems. Everything from the Reagan statue's weapons to heating the building. Two are in this building, but one's near the statue. Look at each terminal, figure out the problem, fix it. Simple. We have the wealth of Colorado beneath our feet, Rangers, and you've seen our wonders firsthand. You will be fairly compensated for any work you do. <laughs> three laser turrets and 200. Three laser turrets that end up killing me more often than not. <laughs> What about them? In this springtime of hope, some lights seem eternal. America's is. Hush, Ronnie. The answer to both questions is yes. You have only seen a fraction of the statute's full power. If our systems are upgraded, we can unleash its full potential and complete the transfer of Ronnie's consciousness into a human body. However, obtaining the cybernetic transfer module is still our top priority. Three terminals manage our key systems. Everything from the Reagan statue's weapons to heating the building. Two are in this building, but one's near the statue. Look at each terminal. Figure out the problem, fix it. Simple. Given the power readings in here, you haven't touched a single one. So how about you get started? <laughs> Not if I see you first. You again? The automated turrets, 
the protection of the Gipper himself, all the Nancys who swore to defend me. Well, I never claimed to be a fighter, but here, I don't need to be. Hmm. 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 Well, that's not going to fly if I want to do anything at all right now. Not if I see you first. Maybe I'll get another chance to arrest you him. again. Not if I see you first. You don't appear to have the module. Why have you returned? Hmm. It's actually a lot of dialogue, and uh, that's long enough for one whole episode. So yeah, just a bunch of uh, dialogue with uh, Mother Nancy Reliance, Reagan, and Valerie Buchanan. All right, pick up the next uh, episode with uh, going on and seeing what's next. All right, later.